Hello everyone, I'm Fiona from Eventide Reads and this is another Stacking the Shelves. So the last two weeks I've been really good. I didn't buy anything the week before last, um, but I did buy a couple of things this week because I did have a birthday. Um, so that's always nice. Uh, first things first is I did get a book from the publishers. Um, the lovely people at Hotkey sent me Vortex, the sequel to Insignia. And I've already read it, and it was brilliant, and I want the third one now. <laughs> if you've read Insignia, definitely check out Vortex when it comes out. I think it's due out in August. I'll double check that one. For my birthday, I actually gave my partner a list of books that I wanted that I couldn't get through work. Um, and he bought me some, and they're all lovely American hardbacks, and they're brilliant. So the first one is Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill, um, a lovely contemporary read set in London. And it was really sweet. It's sort of in the vein of Jennifer E. Smith, um, the statistical probability at love first sight, and this is what happy looks like. I think if you liked either of them, you would probably really like this. It was a really nice read. Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. I've just started this book, I'm like seven pages in, and I can't wait. I was so excited when I opened this. <laughs> this was one of like the top ones that I really wanted, so I'm glad he chose it. Bless him. But no, really, I've been looking forward to this book for so long, and it's it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. And it's also bigger than I thought it was. So it should keep me entertained for a few days. And lastly, it is So Close to You by Rachel Carter. Um, this one just looked like a really different, interesting read. Um, I haven't read this one yet, but I will be probably after Let the Sky Fall. Um, but I love the cover. It's gorgeous with this just this hint of colour. Versus all blues. It's so pretty. I'm such a terrible judging on covers rather than books. <laughs> Those were the three I got for my birthday. Um, I got some of the bits and bobs for my birthday but they're not book related so we'll move on. Um, I also got some vouchers so I went and spent some of them. One of the books I bought is actually a present for someone so I'm not going to show you that one because she will know who she is and it will ruin it. So, surprise for someone. But I did buy two books for myself. I bought Eleanor and Park, finally. I've had it on reserve for about two weeks at work because we only had one copy and I didn't want anyone to buy it. I'm a terrible bookseller, I know. Everyone has had really great times reading this book, so really looking forward to it. I actually really like this cover. I like the colors. It's just, you know, block. I think it's really interesting anyway. So I look forward to reading that, hopefully soon. So any books to read? Uh, I bought The Originals by Cat Patrick. I've not read a Cat Patrick before. I've always looked at them and gone, oh, they sound interesting. Um, and a lot of Electric Monkey ones I've read recently have been really good. And this is her new one, published by Electric Monkey. So I thought I would buy it and give it a whirl. I also, another one, I love the cover. I love these shattered sort of faces um, and broken up faces. I think they're really quite creepy. That's it this week. Not a huge amount of books, but I need to cut back anyway. As you may be able to tell, I've again filled my shelves. This, on my, my last video, I think this was like half empty. But it's just been filled with books again. No matter how much I read. What can you do? But yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will speak to you again soon. Hopefully going to do some different videos next week. So look out for those. So I'll see you all then. Bye bye.